and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jess. I'm currently trying to lose some weight via a calorie deficit. I am currently on like week... What week am I even on? Week three? Week four? I don't know. I've lost track. I have absolutely lost track of where I'm at. So yeah, I've been bringing you guys along with me on my journey. I do also post all of my meals on Instagram, so if you want to go and check that out, I will leave a screenshot up here and also a link in the description for where you can go and check that out. I am also currently coached by a lovely girl named B. The link for her Instagram is in the description as well if you want to go and check her out. She has absolutely completely changed my mindset on weight loss and on just the general process of eating, um, which I didn't think could be done. I'm currently on 1,950 calories, which some of you, if you've been watching from the beginning, will know that I, that absolutely terrified me, the thought that I would eat that many calories. However, I've been eating that many and I've lost weight, so buzzing. Um, and I feel like I've been eating absolutely whatever I want as well. So yeah, I am loving this at the minute. Um, eating pretty much whatever I want, losing weight. I just, I just love it. So I'm just gonna crack on to breakfast. I'm gonna be making some sausage and egg on toast. I could not believe my eyes when I walked into Aldi the other day and I saw skinny pork sausages after the whole trauma of someone telling me that they were discontinued, they were out of my, they were out of my shop for weeks and weeks and weeks. Some places were still getting them. Um, I mean, I was on the brink of traveling, traveling to different cities to go and get these, these sausages, but then I found the ones in Niddle, so it's all right. But yeah, just do, just merrily doing my shopping and in Aldi and um, out the corner of my eye it was like a moth to a flame. I saw them instantly and I thought that can't can't be it, can't be it. Straight over and yeah, skinny pork sausages. So I picked up some of them, obviously. And um, so that's what I'm going to be having in my breakfast this morning. I'll just show you what I'm using for it, other than obviously the Aldi sausages um, and how I make it. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and go and hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified for when I upload next, then you can hit the bell as well. So without further ado, we shall crack on to breakfast. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using two of them. And these are only 74 calories each. So I'm just going to pop them in the oven. I'm just going to pop a couple of cherry tomatoes on there as well. I've got my two eggs there, which I'm going to be scrambling. And then this bread from Aldi is 92 calories per slice. I'll be using two of those. And then I'm just going to pop some of the bistro salad on. So I'm just preheating my oven to 200 degrees. And I'm going to pop the sausages and tomatoes in the oven together. And that is my breakfast. This comes to 468 calories. I'm really looking forward to this because I've been looking forward to having these skinny sausages again. So yeah, this is my breakfast. Right, so I've had my breakfast now and I'm gonna head out for a walk, try and get some steps in nice and early. Um, I am currently, I'm currently on 603 steps, but I mean, it is only 20 past eight in the morning, so I'm not gonna beat myself up too much about that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go out and get some steps in and I will see you when I get back. Okay, I'm back from my walk now and I'm just gonna be having one of the uh, Lidl's own protein bars. These are really, really nice. They are 183 calories and they will stop me from snacking till lunchtime. So yeah, I'm gonna have one of these ones. This is the brown chocolate brownie one, but they also do cookies and cream and vanilla and yogurt, which are very nice as well. Okay, so it is now lunchtime and I'm just gonna be making a wrap. However, it's gonna be a little bit different to what, how I usually make them. I've got no idea whether this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try. Um, so I'll just quickly show you what I'm using for that and then how I'm gonna make it. So these these are the wraps that I'm going to be using. These are just from Tesco's and they're only 88 calories each and I'm just going to be using two of them. 
Then I've just got some um, soft cheese from Morrison's. This is the 50% reduced fat one. It's 50 calories for 30 grams. I think I'm I think I'm only going to be using 30 grams, but I'll just weigh it out and see how it goes and see how much I need as I go. But I've written on there because it's it's 25 grams for two sins. If you're following Slimming World, um, I just wrote all that on there for when I was following Slimming World. And then I've just got some cooked chicken breast slices, which I'm going to be using, and they are per 100 grams, 112 calories. So again, I'm just going to measure out as I go, see how much um, I might need, um, and just go from there. And then finally, I've just got some bistro salad, which I'm just going to be adding in there as well. So there's my lunch. I'm actually quite surprised that it worked. Um, I did have to double up on the cream cheese though, so I ended up using 60 grams of that. But in total, this is only 394 calories, and like it's just a different way. It's just a different way of having a wrap, isn't it? Um, and it sticks down at the edges. So yeah, be great for a packed lunch as well, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with them. Right, so I'm gonna head out for a walk. Um, I think we're gonna go somewhere in, is it the Pennines? I'm not sure. We're traveling a little bit. It's about an hour away where we're going. Um, obviously I'll bring you along with us. It's me and Emma going, but he's on Zoomies at the minute, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to, um, to there, hopefully get a lovely long walk in with lots of steps. Um, so obviously I will catch up with you Properly when I get back, I'll show you where we're going on the way. Just for reference, um, before I go, my steps are currently on 5,236. So we'll see how many I do whilst I'm out there. from our walk my god i thought that was the end um if you ever go if you ever go to cauldron snout in the pennines don't walk down the waterfall it's not part of the public footpath and you'll probably get stuck at the bottom and then have to climb all the way back up the waterfall um upon reflection it's probably very dangerous what me and emma just did but uh yeah it it was i mean it was a lovely view um but walking down literally the the very edge of a waterfall it was very slippy very steep not the best idea that we've ever had but um yeah it was still a good walk anyway but yeah anyway it's now like eight o'clock because that took out i'm not even joking that took us hours i mean it took us about an hour and a half to drive 
um and then we were walking for about three hours and then obviously an hour and a half back so it was a very very long walk so yeah i'm back now and i'm just gonna make some tea so i'll just quickly show you what i'm having for that and how i make it i wanted to just quickly show you my hat hair as well um so you know yeah it's a look um anyway so i've decided that i want to go for something quite quick and easy for my tea um just because i am knackered um and this is what i've come up with so i'm going to be having a yellowfin sole these are from aldi um 197 calories per fillet these are really really nice the garlic and herb ones i really like them and then i've just got some of the slim well chips which i'll be having this per 100 grams cooked is 124 calories um again with me being a little bit of a newbie for calorie counting like how do i know how much to put in for 100 grams of cooked unsure if it's if it's frozen now how am i going to know how much 100 grams is once it's cooked do you know what i mean um so anyway i feel like i've got quite a lot of calories to play with anyway so i'm just going to kind of put on however many i think and then just count them within my calories um because i think i've got enough to do that so yeah i'm just gonna pop a few on and then um and see what it is um so yeah i've got my oven preheated to 200 and i'm literally just gonna pop all that in the oven so i've just put my chips on to the scales then i've got about 170 grams and popping that into um my fitness pal comes to 211 calories So obviously I've just popped some ketchup on there. It hurt my feelings a little bit that um, it didn't just come out the way I wanted it to, but never mind. Um, I've got about, um, I've got a tablespoon roughly of that there, uh, which comes to 20 calories. So in total, this comes to 428 calories. And I was bashing that bottle so much that my watch asked me if I'd fell over, which um, I found quite funny, but yeah. So uh, yeah, 428 calories. Okay, so it's about 10 o'clock and I am just having a little snack. I've just got one of the uh, pots of chalk from Aldi. It's like their version of the, I'm guessing the Cadbury's pots of joy. I think it's a similar one to that. Um, anyways, 149 calories in that. And then I've also got um, just a wafer bar. There's 102 calories in that one. So yeah. That will bring me to the end of my calories today so just to summarize i am on 1908 calories which out of my 1950 goal um i am under but i'm not i'm not too fussed about that um steps wise i am on eight, uh, 16830 so i'm well over my step target for the day which i'm happy about so yeah i am just gonna end the video there i am currently sat watching Grey's anatomy and i am on i'm on season six now what an emotional roller coaster it has been for the last six seasons um especially the last season i saw oh honestly devastating anyway anyway so i am just gonna end the video there if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and go and hit the subscribe button below and if you want to be notified for when i upload next then you can hit the bell as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow